Hey everybody, welcome to the show that's never actually watched a Brady Bunch rerun until last week. That's right, it's five minutes you won't get back. A little show we waste five minutes of your time, but just remember, five minutes doesn't start until we say it does. I'm Brian. I'm Heather. And did you know that no. Cincinnati had five, they called them trolley car inclines, where basically it was like in the late 1800s, they had these, they built these things where they would take, they would take a, a train car with passengers in it and they created this thing that moved up the side of a mountain to take them to the top of like a hill a hill or a mountain um <laughs> and then they would drive them up and that's how people got up the hill got up the hill with a with a, with a tram that went yep. up the hill it ran for 76 that was well they they ran for 76 years and there was really only one major accident i mean if you ever like research any and of how these bad or take a was look at them, did, did you did you see what the accident was it was just one it, they only they lost like six people <laughs> I mean, I know that, that sounds bad, but if you figure, these things look pretty terrifying. Maybe we can. I find would never some go footage. on one. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, we'll have to see a maybe picture. Maybe we or have already maybe magically dropped some footage in. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway, but they look. So Brian was like, "That looks terrifying." I was like, "That looks amazing." But anyway, but all things considered, it ran from like the late 1800s to like I think it was like uh, 1946 is 1940 mid 1940s. So. I mean, one one time. Those per six people. This yeah, but, but that's only for one, those six accident, okay, one accident. Okay. One five accident. Okay. Five different five different things. I mean, I don't know. In seventy six years, I think that's pretty darn good. <laughs> Actually, it is. Anyway, so, so um, all right. Okay, well, there's we your bit. The five minutes? Yeah, the five minutes starts now, yep, okay. and we will not hit the five minutes today, much to your dismay. But we are at the Cincinnati Museum, just chilling. Uh, insert B-roll here once again, and um, yeah, just kind of hanging out and doing our thing. This was an old. Uh, this was a train depot um, that was built in uh, 1933. Um, and uh, they built it because apparently Cincinnati would had the worst transportation train system in the United States. So Cincinnati's like, hey, we got to do something about this. So they built this train depot. And then in the 1990, 1990, it opened as the Cincinnati Museum. It has a, the history of Cincinnati as well as natural history and science. And uh, so, yeah, so there you go on that. But, uh, you know, since we moved to the Kentucky area, we've been bopping back and forth Cincinnati doing some stuff I kind of thought of a question this morning you know because I'm taking pictures because I've never been here and I'm like you know I'm, I'm feeling kind of touristy and uh we're hitting all the spots right so I'm looking like a tourist but I technically I live here now no I technically we do live here yeah and uh we're not tourists anymore, but yet we're still doing touristy things. So my question to you today, and you can leave it in the comment section below, is um, at what point do you stop being a tourist? I still, still think when you move to an old, a new location, you're still technically maybe a tourist. Still? Are you a semi-tourist? Are you like a... Uh, a wait for this I car to go by. And it goes by. That guy needs some... Uh, Buffalo, buffalo work, work. <laughs> anyway yeah, probably took it off i know people who just anyway well, that's what we put that's just besides the point they like their car to be loud, that's, that's another okay. that's another show we love them anyway so but but what what, what you know 50 percent tours 25 percent tours how long do you have to be in a place and you're visiting locations and taking pictures when can you stop being considered a tourist i mean i'm assuming tourist is a person that's visiting but they live somewhere else but i still feel you're still kind of a tourist so i need your voice on this I need you to like tell me what do you think when do you stop being a yeah tourist? when do you when do you think i don't know i know that that um when do you have your one tourist of us, license one of us has our kentucky driver's license and kentucky license plate the other one does not so i feel like if i were to drive around they would just think me a stupid kentucky person doesn't know where they're going and me they, you, they probably look at and they're like, like that boy's oh, from stupid tourist that boy's from myrtle beach he doesn't know What's where he's he going he doesn't know where he's going <laughs> but even in myrtle beach you still drive like you don't know where you're going yeah but shameless slap yeah. at myrtle beach anyway but, anyway but yeah so i don't know but yeah I, know. I mean do you still feel like a tourist in this well, area yeah we've been here a, we've been here a month a little over a month yeah, yeah so maybe maybe you have like a a trans a transition stage where like i said you're like for six months you're a semi-tourist you know because you're still when like when we go to places like today you're still saying things like we've never been here before that's like everywhere we go have you been here before no and then sometimes they ask where are you from and we say myrtle beach and then they say why would you leave the beach 
and then and we hit, we hit, <laughs> we have our other but, responses. So then, so I, like I don't know though, but how do you how do you get to know your area if you don't go do all the stuff? Like, I know you have to go explore it. But I still feel like a tourist. When am I not going to feel like a tourist? When you get your <laughs> when I get when, when I get my life when I get my life. Nope, I still because I still want to know where I'm going. Yeah. So anyway, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Because even even when we lived in Myrtle Beach, sometimes I still felt like a tourist. Like, because we didn't visit all the touristy spots, but occasionally we might. And then I took out my you know phone to take a picture, uh -huh. and then I'm like, oh, you know. I totally disagree. See, I, we could go visit in Myrtle Beach because we had been there so long. Yeah. We could go visit all the tourist attractions. Yeah, but we're not a tourist. But we viewed it through the eyes of someone who had been there. So like every time we would go somewhere, nine times out of 10, I'd be like, Brian, you know, this used to be blah, 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 blah. And that, you know, so I feel like it wasn't a tourist. We, we viewed it through different eyes. But I still feel bad if we go to a place and we live in Myrtle Beach and they did ask us, you know, have you been here before? Like, <laughs> no, yes. where are you? no, no, I'd say oh. no. And it's like, where are, you, where are you from? And I'm like, here, I've lived here for a while. I just never came, never, never came here because it's a, touristy <laughs> spot <laughs> yeah maybe maybe that's when you wait a minute that might be when you officially stop becoming a tourist when you stop visiting touristy spots like like say this the museum here i love it i'm not going to come all the time might come again if we have friends in town you know i don't see multiple visits unless they've got like a special exhibit or something i want to see but yeah but but all these other people that are here, I mean, there's like a ton of people here. With yeah, but their they have kids. Yeah, they but just, they have they kids. Okay. Here and they just, they right. Just came to the museum. Right. I guess, but that's. But still, they have kids. So we, so don't, maybe this we don't isn't have even kids a tourist location. Maybe it's just a museum, and we just feel like it's a tourist location. Well, because we went up there and said we, we this is the first time we've been here, and then yeah, they assumed we were tourists. I think we probably no. I don't. I don't. But think they, the, the, we need to like shelve the kids because we don't have a, we don't have a kids option. We have shelved it. We're out of time already. We have shelved the kids' options. We do not, we're not allowed to use that. So anyway, I still feel like we need to be here at least six months to a year before I can feel like I can pull the tourist card away. Uh, I'm never going to say I'm a local. Long. Anyway, why? And by then, hopefully I'll have my driver's license and a license plate. Yeah. Hopefully so. Anyway, that's all we got. Come visit, right. come visit this place. Like I said, it's pretty cool. I was like $15 per adult just for the museum. There's other stuff. Of course, it's extra, but we did. We just chilled in the museum. But check it out, Cincinnati Museum. We're right outside the city here. So, yeah, I'm Brian. I'm Heather. And just remember, it isn't a great day until we wasted five, five minutes, minutes of your time. time. And we'll see you next week sometime Bye. in the near future. Yep. In another touristy spot. Or not. Maybe we'll just be at home. It's possible. Quite possible. Listening to you.